Setting up a Trello productivity workflow can seem pretty overwhelming, especially when you're just starting off with the software. In this video, I'm gonna break it down into five easy to follow steps so you can have an amazing productivity workflow. This is gonna help you be able to get things done faster and more effectively, but without all the tech overwhelm. Let's get into it. The first step is go ahead and create a new Trello board. Start off in the main Trello menu and select create new board. From there, Trello is gonna make a brand new board for you. This board is just gonna start off as a blank slate and we're gonna build everything out from scratch so you can customize it to be your own as you go. Step two is to create your list. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Trello, it typically operates within a Kanban method or Kanban style. If you don't know what the Kanban method is, I'll bring up a quick graphic. Essentially, you start with tasks, projects, and ideas on the left, and the goal is to move them to the right with each column being a part of your workflow. You can keep it simple with a workflow like this one shown, or you can customize it to all the steps within your own workflow. It's totally up to you. For this example, I'm gonna use five main lists to start off this basic workflow. So let's go ahead and add these lists and then I'll break down how the workflow works. The first list is ideas and that's where your ideas go. The second list is to do and that's where you're gonna put things you decide you want to do. The third list is doing and that's where the things you are currently engaging with go. The fourth list is waiting on and that's where things that you're waiting on from others go. The fifth list is done and this is where the things you have completed or finished go. As you can see, five very simple and easy to understand lists. Step number three is brain dump the work you need to do. And now is the time to clear your head of everything from ideas to tasks to projects and get them all out of your head and into the Trello software. So I'm gonna fast forward and dump out all the tasks and projects into the ideas list. Once these are done, now you can decide on what you actually want to do. So drag over a few cards from the ideas list to the to-do list. Once that is done, you can decide on what tasks and projects you want to start now. Once you've decided on those items, drag them into the doing list. And this is the start of the workflow. As you complete tasks, check them off and you can move them into the done list. Now let's talk about the waiting on list. And this is where items you are waiting on go. For example, if you're waiting on approval from a coworker, maybe you're waiting on an item to be delivered, or maybe you're waiting on a payment or an invoice, or even a call back from someone else, all of those will go in here. It's very important to separate the things you can't currently do off of your to-do list. Step four is set deadlines. Now we all have deadlines we have to meet and keep track of, and Trello has the perfect solution for that. To add a due date, you can click right into any card, from there, you're going to select dates. Now let's say this task or project is due on Monday the 15th. You would select the 15th on your calendar and then select save. From here, Trello will add a due date to the card and you can see that the due date is on the front of the card itself. I love this feature because it keeps all of your dates top of mind. So I'm gonna go and fast forward and add a bunch of due dates to all of these cards. There is one power-up feature that I love to add to all of my boards and it's the calendar power-up and it allows you to see all of your due dates in a calendar view. So let's go ahead and add that calendar really quickly. Go to the top bar and select power-ups and then from there select add power-ups. Once the menu pops up, select made by Trello and then select the calendar power-up by hitting add. From there, you can close out all of the menus and go back to the main Trello board view. Now click on the calendar power up on the top bar. From there, you're gonna click on week view. Now you can see all of your cards and dates in chronological order. This is my favorite view when planning the week because I can see all of my tasks and projects that are coming up. The great part about this view is if you click on a card and drag it to another day on the calendar, it will automatically change the due date within the card. On the top of the menu, you can also click back to month view to switch it to see the entire month at a glance. This can be very helpful when planning in the long term. Step five is get work done. Move tasks from the to-do list to the doing list and get to work. From there, you can customize the entire card with checklists, attachments, you can add members and customize with labels. Once things are finished or complete, drag them into the done column. You can also hover the cursor over the date on the front of the card and a small box will appear and you can check the card off as done. From there, just reload your doing list 
with the next tasks and projects that you want to work on. Now I wanted to throw a bonus tip in here and my bonus tip is download the Trello app on your mobile phone so you can take work on the go. A lot of the work we do or ideas and inspiration that we have doesn't always happen at our desk. Download this Trello app so you can stay connected with your productivity system in real time, no matter where you're at. And this is how you can build a basic Trello productivity board workflow. It's easy, it's fast, and it will increase your productivity. If you're looking to really optimize this board, I have an entire Trello video playlist that contains more of my best Trello tips and workflows. I also have some Trello templates for purchase, so if you click on the link below, you can access these plug and play templates to improve your productivity instantly. The link is in the description below, but until next time, stay productive.